Hi dears, today we are discussing about the topic measures of dispersion or variation. We know that after discussing the measurement of central tendencies like mean, median, mode, or tails. Then we want to study about measures of dispersion, which means the study of variation from the center of the observation. Then here we want to understand what is dispersion or variation. The term dispersion or variation refers to the degree to which the numerical data tend to spread about the an average value which means this is the degree of change or degree of variance from the central value which means arithmetic mean or median here we calculate that how close the values to the center of the distribution if the observations are close to the center we say that dispersion or scatter or variation is small which means all observations in the given data are around the mean or median which means the center value such type of variations are small variations or dispersions are small dispersions then if the observations are spread away from the center values then such variations are large variations so we can conclude that if the values are tend to center of the distribution each and every values are tend to center of the distribution we can call it variation is small if the observations are away from the center we can call it dispersion is large then we want to discuss about types of measures of dispersion there are two types of measures of dispersion first one absolute measures of dispersion and second one relative measures of dispersion which means coefficient there are four types of absolute measures of dispersion first one the range quartile deviation, mean deviation and standard deviation and variance. The relative measures of dispersion which means coefficient is measure the comparison of, of dispersion in two or more than two sets of observations. The relative measures are used to compare the dispersion of two or more than two sets of observations so we should calculate absolute measures of dispersion before calculating relative measures of dispersion so we should understand that this is the first step of calculating relative measures of dispersion or coefficient is absolute measures so we want to calculate the values of absolute measures then we can use it in relative measures of dispersion. We already said that there are four types of absolute measures. The range, quartile deviation, mean deviation and standard deviation on variance. So now we are discussing about each and every one of the absolute measures of dispersion and its coefficients. First of all, we are discussing the quartile deviation. We know that there are three quartiles. First, first quartile, second quartile and third quartile. We know that what is quartile and how to calculate quartile. So before calculating quartile deviations, we should know about calculating quartiles, first quartile, second quartile and third quartile. We know that the quartile Quartiles are divided all observation into four equal parts. The first quartile divided all observation into two. 
Below first quartile, there are 25% of observations and above first quartile, there are 75% of observations. And second quartile divided observation into equal parts, equal two parts. Then third quartile divided all observation into two. Above third quartile, there are 25% of values and below third quartile, there are 75% values. Then here we are we want to discuss about how to calculate quartile deviation. Quartile deviations is based on the lower quartile and upper quartile, quartile 1 and quartile 3, which, which is uh, calculated as Q3 minus Q1. Q3 minus Q1 is equal to interquartile range besides interquartile range q3 minus q1 after q3 uh, calculating q3 minus q1 we want to divide the number by 2 for getting quartilation so it's very simple to calculate quartile deviation because we already know that how to calculate q1 q3 then after getting quartile deviation we want to discuss about coefficient of quartile deviation which means relative measures of dispersion based on the quartile deviation is called coefficient of quartile deviation it is calculated as q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 we already say that coefficient or relative measures of dispersion are the comparison of two or more deviations so here we want to compare two or more deviations from the given data then we want to discuss an example example for calculating uh, coefficient of quartile deviation and quartile deviation here we have given uh, the wheat production in kilograms of 30 acres is given here we know that the given data are ungrouped data because there is no order there is no frequency so it's an ungrouped data so uh, we want to discuss how to calculate quartiles deviation we know that how to calculate quartiles we know that first of all we want to arrange the data in ascending order after arranging the data we want to find out three quartiles here we want to find out only two quartiles quartile 1 and quartile 3 after calculating quartile 1 and quartile 3 we want we can find out quartiles the quartile deviation and coefficient of quartile deviation by using the formulas given first of all we want uh, to arrange the data in ascending order so here the data are as, uh, ordered in uh, ascending as uh, smallest in first and largest in last okay then here we can see that the data are arranged in ascending order uh, 1040 1080 1120 so and so the last number is 20 uh, 2058 then <coughs> then from this data, we want to calculate Q1, Q3, and uh, quarter deviation and uh, coefficient of quarter deviation. So, we are going to calculate the first quarter deviation. Quarter deviation is equal to Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. So, we want to calculate Q1, Q, Q3, and uh, it will be calculated by dividing Q1 minus Q3 minus Q1 by 2. So, how to calculate Q1? Q1 is, we know that Q1 is the first quartile. So, value of n plus 1 by fourth item. Which means, uh, the n is equal to 30, you know. So, uh, value of 31, point, 31 by fourth item. Which is 7.75th uh, item. So, we are calculating them as uh, the seventh item. 
plus 0.75 into 8th item minus 7th item. The 7th item is uh, 1320. Then plus 0.7 into 8th item uh, which is 1342 uh, uh, 1, minus 1320 which is 1336.6. This is the first quartile. Then how to calculate quartile 3, third quartile, value of 3 into n plus minus minus by divided by 4 the item. We know that value of 3 into 31.4 the item is equal to uh, 30, sorry, 23.25 item. 23rd item plus 0 0.25 into 24th item minus 23rd item. So 23rd item is equal to 1785 plus uh, 0 0.25 into uh, 1855 minus 7, uh, 1785 which is after calculating this we can get the amount of Q3 which is 1802.5 so here we can we have we have already uh, calculated the values Q1 and Q3 so we can apply in this on our uh, capital deviation equation okay <coughs> the quarter deviation is equal to q3 minus q1 divided by 2 so how to calculate quarter deviation 18 uh, sorry 1802.5 divided by 2 which is 465.9 by 2 is equal to 232.95 the quartile deviation is calculated as 232.95 after this we can we want to calculate coefficient of quartile deviation which is q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 the amounts are 18 uh, 1802.5 minus 1336.6 divided by 1802 plus 1000 336.6 is equal to 465.5 sorry 465.9 divided by 3 139.1 is equal to 0 0.148 this is the coefficient of quartile deviation okay